Ooh, Pisces, we are diving into secrets. How do you like that? Now, it is obvious when I was preparing the shuffle, some of you, the word marriage is showing up, and this is a good thing. Um, it's not nothing daunting. And the thing is, with the big shakeups that we've been having with all the eclipses going on this year, it was bountiful, and it was in the signs of the nodes. So it could have been troublesome, problematic, maybe a lot of holding out, holding your breath, muscling through, uh, head down, take the next step, that whole thing. Well, life's bringing in a bit of a forecast for you. It's talking about they're bringing love into the situation. Ooh, the water bear. Aquarius, new moon in Aquarius. That's hilarious because it's piggybacking on Aquarius. Capricorn did a good turn for Aquarius. Now Aquarius is paying it forward with you and they're like, we bringing in what? Because these cards are stuck, y'all. But I'm going to peel it apart because we all about the secrets. What is going on here? What we don't know. And it's that win-win outcome is forecast. We're talking about reciprocated love. No more struggle. No more strife. Doing away with the wrestling and the questions, because Neptune's being moved out of your sign. I'm telling you, that has been there way too long. Clouding and fogging you up, steaming you up, working you out. Mm -mm. Jupiter is returning and is on the rise. I love it because it's not just the, um, especially for people who have a Pisces moon. It could have been very afflictive for a long time, almost feeling like, feeling like, yeah, I'm ready to take the helm of my life. Life's going to be so magical and so awesome. And then you wake up under the bottom of someone's shoe. And you're like, like gum, like, how did I get here again? How did I get used up again? How did I get spilled up again? How did it become like this? But that's not what we're here to find out because scrape, Aquarius has scraped that on out of the way and life is ready to reciprocate, to step in and to answer those intentions that you have, the intentions of your heart, okay? And Pisces, it's interesting because we're taking a look at secrets, right, which is Scorpio. So your eighth house is in Libra. It has to do with beauty, which is a trip because they're like, you're going to see and fully know. You're going to inhabit your dreams and your desires, all that love that you've been feeling inside, all those like delicious feelings that you've been pursuing through many pursuits, Okay, maybe having to wear many faces and many facets of yourself, like in this group of people playing up this facet of yourself and that facet of yourself, not in order to trick or to fool the people, but to feel like you fit in and you go along and like you're going to be accepted and embraced. That's not the case here anymore. That's the thing that Aqua has brought in and they are rolling your way is that pure, perfect love that you are divine and beautiful exactly as you are. All right, so let's get into the middle of this. I'm going to cut and shuffle, cut and shuffle a couple of times, and then I'm going straight into the middle, into the hidden and plain site where your secrets are. Maybe they're right in front of your face and you couldn't see the forest for the trees. Well, no more Pisces. If you were here, you called in this reading. So lean on in, tune on in, and know that love and beauty are on the horizon for you. And if love is coming in, money is definitely coming in as well. Not the love of money, love and money. I'm just looking, let's see, seven of cups. You're like, I don't know about that. I'm not so sure. I'm just content exactly as I am. I love my cosmic relationship. I'm appreciative. And they're saying, but if you knew what else there was, there's so much more. There's so much more. And the thing is, is there is part of you that does stir um, in quiet moments that is, is seeking to know the fullness of yourself. That's why you're plenty. It's not like you're taking from someone else's cup or bowl. Okay. Ooh, dreamer of pinnacles. Mm -hmm. It's deep friend. This beauty is more than skin deep. Okay. You have gone is bringing in the completion of your healing and more than that, what you allow, we're going to pull this one out too. Let me go ahead and get these guys out of here. And at the bottom of the deck, yeah, this is what was coming in. Uh, Aquarius's energy is definitely flowing your way. Um, your rise is going to impact the lives of others and bring about their healing. Okay, you might want to listen to Capricorn. We are the whole zodiac, and in that they they realize that it's me first, and that didn't sit so right. It seemed awkward and kind of like intimidating and a shrinking type energy on the Capricorn. So we decided to phrase it and verse it that I'll go first. 
realizing that you going first is kind of like a bulldozer, one who moves everything out of the way so it makes the passage easier for others. That's the thing to know here, Pisces, is Aquarius is going to set forth apparently this challenge for you to embrace being fully loved. The idea, do away with enough because that's a tilting scale and the measuring and that messes with your beauty because it messes with your mind and then it causes you to mess with yourself. No. <laughs> okay, who was that hard for? Who's choked up on that? But you were born for this. This is Chiron. This is the key. Your dreams coming in and this abundance, experiencing this type of love <coughs> and glory. How about we just simply say it's it's you being the lighthouse that you are. And the fact that people know who is the lighthouse, they know where to go for the light. Not necessarily help or commitment or obligation or anything like that. I mean, it's obvious by what's standing here behind you. You have your own life to live. But it's knowing the location and really they're not seeking you out. They're seeking out this love. You are this facet of love, this light of love that comes. It, it, um beyond all you could think or imagine. So it does away with expectation, it does away with conditions, and it brings in what was meant to be all along. True love, whole love, magnificent love that abounds, that has its own life force. It's more than just the two people. It's more than just the two. Look at this. This land rose up to meet them. This foundation came up and gave them something to stand upon. And that's where you're going to speak from. It doesn't have to come out of your mouth. Our truth is also like our high heart area. It is what people see when they look at us. That is that magnificent beauty that your scale not teetering about, that magic of Aquarius flowing on into you was so that you didn't have to keep measuring yourself up anymore. You could embrace yourself in one full breath and let it feed and filter in and through your whole body. Nature knows how to work with you and you give yourself permission to work with nature and they're talking about now. I see this tiger energy showing up that there's nothing you have to fight for. This is what you came for and the evidence that you are here is plenty. It is plenty, that is the beginning of the magic of you being able to behold the magic that is within you and around you and the favor that's showing up, say yes to favor. Say yes to favor because as the bounty comes onto you, your generous heart and your generous nature, because here you were trying to think of all these others like, I don't, I don't know, couldn't it be somebody else? And they're like, no, it's you. Because you're the one who has the generous heart, the eyes to see, the heart to feel, and the, the desire to share because you've been through so much. You have quite an awareness of what those different states of being are. Where the mind was wanting it to feel like this and you found yourself as gum stuck to the bottom of a shoe the next day going, what happened here, okay? And it does away with those questions, it does away with that teetering and tossing, and it gets into the beauty, into the genie, into the genius, because they say I'm problem solved, because you're not a problem. And you are a solution, but the solution's already here. They're wanting you to go a step further, to come into that full energy and allow life and love and nature to love on you, to bring you into that ease. Because as you flow like that, Pisces, as you begin to get in that um, state of going together, as opposed to the washing machine or the backwashing or the feeding or the karmic cycles, that type of thing, and you begin to flow, that partnership goes and others see it and they realize that it's available. And your humble heart, because humble simply means knowing who you are and what you're here for. Because of the experience when this love comes into you, you're like, oh my gosh. And you're just going about living. So when people stop to ask you, how did you know? How did you see? And it's just so easy for you to put it into words and to share simply with them. And they receive it just as easily. Isn't that magic? You get to have that personal love relationship, that personal life going on. But you also get to share it with the world. And I don't mean the intimate private parts. I mean the common parts that, that simplify it for everyone else. Mm. I want to know how you feel about that. I've already heard a little bit about it at the bottom. It's like, mm. got your wheels turning, big wheels. Keep on turning. Now, this is that magic that you felt as a child. You're very aware of that. 
and it has a lot to do with this. So maybe when you listen to this and you turn it off, take some time to meditate on that feeling when you were a child. Maybe you can even remember something that was in your room or like I had this specific gold belt that had a butterfly clasp. It was these little stretchy belts. So the uh, buckle was really a clasp and it was little and I can tune into that and it'll take me right back to that time and space. And I have a thing up here on my desk that says believe in miracles that a friend gave me. And I've been believing in miracles since I was a little girl. And, and as I'm giving your message, I'm giving it and having to receive it as well. Getting privileged, honored to receive it as well and go, oh, wow, miracles could come in. And mira means to see. Don't you want to taste and see what all that magic was that was cooking up inside of you when you were young? All right. Community. Community. Look at this. This is your humility. Even though you've grown through the stature and the ages, this is you showing kindness to those that are to come, the future generation. This is something where it may have been uh, seem that you have to continue to live on it in this humble structure. No, the sky's the limit. And realize that each thing that you embrace for yourself, you're also um, bestowing on others. You come with the, um, it's like the formulas, the simplification of it, the universal university of it being universality of it of being able to contribute it as your gift to our world that's some 10th house energy there so you might look on your chart and see what the midheaven is and see what planets or what sign you have there and then check out that read as well that's exciting i'm happy for you that's some awesome secrets i hope you embrace them into your heart and flow into whatever this means for you pisces and no i love you you can like share and subscribe you can comment down below and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.